So, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. So, our today's topic is storage and management of medicines in a pharmacy. So, you can see in this uh, picture how the drugs are stored. Mostly, this thermometer shows that what temperature the drugs needed. At what temperature the drugs are stored to keep the stability intact. Why you are going to store on desired required temperature? Because if they are stored in higher or lower temperature, stability or efficacy of the drug has been altered. Similarly, you can see have various drugs. We have seen how you may have purchased. There is a label instructions, labor guidance is written over there, how to store. You can see in, in, in second picture, there is storage conditions. Written over this, not more than 0 degree Celsius to 8 degree Celsius, necessary for many products. You can see there's another drug, nitroglycerin is there. Keep this on cool temperature. Means there is a written that the drug has to be stored at a at cool temperature means must be below 30 degrees Celsius. Another thing is the drug has to be refrigerated mostly. Insulin and such drugs, the thermal levels, the drugs have to be stored in a refrigerator. So you can see in that picture that insulin is stored in a refrigerator. So mostly insulin is stored at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Then after application, it again kept back to that refrigerator just take out or sometime when you are going to shift your, uh, your dispense so these drugs must be accompanied with the ice packs they must be come with the metric uh, packed in an ice pack so the temperature requirement remain maintained the cold chain may the cold chain may be meant otherwise if it is placed in hot weather the efficacy may be deteriorated and the stability may be altered. If you go through next. So, so what you have to do in hospital when, during storage? What then needs should be managed to ensure secure and storage. First is the secure storage, means free from any uh, any theft, whatever it is, so it must be secure. Then second, must be clean and correct environmental condition during storage. You may have clean environment at your homes. Similarly, when you store the drugs, it must be stored in a clean environment. Then accurate and effective record keeping. It is very must that whatever the, uh, the, uh, the inventory, it has to be done properly. Inventory must be maintained, means if accurate, and effective record keeping means inventory, the receiving and issuing record must be maintained. Now, the, nowadays, various different softwares are available, computers are available, available on which the drugs has to be recorded. Earlier, there was stock ledgers were there on these stock ledgers, the record was maintained. So now different types of softwares are available on which the records are stored. Records are kept. That another effective stock rotation and experimenting. So when you dispense someone, they has to be rotated. The stocks must be rotated, uh, and expiry monitoring has to be done. Stock rotation and expiry monitoring means whenever you have this first, the stock which has to come first, it has to go first. So they they may be rotated. If, and mostly effective fire and theft prevention because. Uh, 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 there can be electric shock, there can be fire, can be happen in a pharmacy. So effective fire uh, extinguisher must be uh, fixed over there. If there is a fire happen, so emergency may be called, uh, fire brigade may be called, or fire ex extinguisher must be fixed in that pharmacy. So to avoid any fire and for the, uh, proper safeguard of the uh, stocks must be maintained to avoid pilferage or theft of their stocks. Most, another one is rodent and pest, because mostly the pharmacies are on a ground floor, so there can be chance of rodent and pest can be entered in that pharmacy, so they can deteriorate, they can, they can destroy the medicine over there. What step has to be taken 
for the management of a pharmacy stock. First, when you receive the stock, it must be placed, it must be kept under a quarantine area. The other stocks are must must be stored, must be kept in a separate area that is known as quarantine. They kept in quarantine and then they have to inspect the stock. Over there, you have to check the stocks which are received. Then they have to store in a proper container, in proper shelves, proper cupboard, proper designated area as per the requirement of the temperature. Stock control and expiry monitoring has to be done. So these all things has to be done for the management of the stocks. So how you inspect in a quarantine of stock? Mostly the quarantine area has to be colored, have given a color of red color. So you can see over the left side, the quarantine area when the drugs are placed before checking. So new stock received must be kept in quarantine area until the inspection is done to avoid intermixing with these. So whatever the stocks, fresh stock must be placed in quarantine area where they are properly inspected. This area should be marked and identified adequately to distinguish it from other areas by giving a red color to that. You, you can learn in the industrial pharmacy that there are quarantine area and red, then there is a yellow area, then there is a pass area. The yellow area is mostly for that where the drugs has to be examined. And then they, if they are qualified, if they are passed, if they are fit for the consumption, they may be placed to green area. So this area should be marked and identified adequately to distinguish it from other areas by giving red color to that area. The quarantine area must have racks, shelves, or cupboards to prevent ingress of moisture, dirt, and other contaminants. So it may not be placed over the floor. It must have proper shelves, racks over there. This has to be stored. This has to be placed. So to avoid from moisture, if they place over the uh, floor and dirt and other contaminations. How the checking has to inspection to be carried out new stocks. So first one, unpacking and decartering has to be done. All the cartons has to be opened and inspection of the stock has to be done. Supplies received should be unpacked and checked in the quarantine. So this all has to be done in a quarantine area. All the cartons has to be opened and the stores are, are uh, stocks has to be checked those drugs which needed to be refrigerated they may be placed in refrigerator so if there is a uh, 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 required if there is availability of refrigerator so it may be placed in that quarantine area otherwise the regular refrigerator where they can be stored over there the refrigerator medicine supplied should not remain in the current area for longer period, because if they remain uh, uh, for longer period in a in hot area, they may lose their efficacy and potency of the drugs. So what another thing is you have to done, because you have to, all the stocks must be tagged with stock cards or batch cards. For every batch of medicine must be tagged or hang on the stock. So it must be tagged with the batch cards or stock cards. Medicine must be received from the authorized supplier to prevent spurious and counterfeit drugs from entering the pharmacy. So it must be received from the person or from the agent or from the authorized agent to whom the order was purchased. None from others, it may not be received because to avoid the spurious and counterfeit drugs may be entered in a pharmacy over there. Now you hear the design of a stock card mostly uh, has to be placed over that each stock, over the each drug. This is a design of a stock card in which you can have date received from issued to number of how much received, how much issued, balance over there, remarks, and signature of that technician who have to handle the pharmacy in the store. Yes, so this is a design of a batch card or stock card. Every drug, every uh, stock must be accompanied, must be tagged with this type of a, a stock card. You will further say that how this uh, stock card handle, you can say the, uh, the, another design of that item is amoxicillin. It's dose form. It is a 250 milligram tablet over there. Code is written over there. Packaging unit box, how much the quantity was received. Similarly, the, the, the date 
origin, in and out stock, remarks, whatever to be done. So brought forward the previous stock, there was 20,000 over there, then 80,000 are again received, it becomes one lakh. So similarly, they have no health care center one, whatever in, in, in your case, when you become a pharmacy in a hospital, so how in the hospital, that unit department must be written over there, like that two June 19, they have issues 5,000 5, health center one. In your case, when you, you become a pharmacist in a tertiary care hospital, you may have to write that unit, there may be medicine unit, surgical, whatever. So wherever it has to be, dispensed are issued, it has to be properly, batch card has to be maintained. So further we go, go there, checking should seen not simply as counting the units received, but as a part of the quality assurance system. So it must be physically checked. You have to check each strip, each while, each capsule, whatever. It has to be must quality assured that no any wrong drug may be entered over there. So it must be counted, must be checked with naked eye, with physically that how the stock is available there. This should include Visually inspecting the packaging, then the checking the integrity of the container, whether there's no any loose containers, whatever there is there, verifying the completeness and legibility of labels, approved drugs names, strength, any special storage instructions and expiry date. So you have to check all these things which are requires the uh, specification of the drug which are orders. Well, it's doser forms, it's strength. So what all instruction which are given in the purchase order, it has to be verified according to that. If you could not find that, then what you have to do, is there any, any, any discrepancy that the store or stocks received uh, are not according to that uh, spec uh, specification, you have to note it. You have to record it in a proper register. Everything has to be written in a register or if it is if there is a computer base you have to write in a computer so what if there is a missing box of card if there was a missing or less quantity has to be received it has to be recorded then if there is an open or tempered boxes or, or cartons are received you have to return how much are tempered how much are open so if the missing supplies if it's not according to that quantity which is ordered so you have to note that there is a missing supply Different in the actual quantity and the quantity shown on the packaging. Packing, whatever it, if it is a less or more quantity has to receive, it has to be recorded. Then they go for additional mess. Sometimes they, what they do, they have to give substitute. They have to add some substitute of that drug. So it has to be recorded the additional medicine that had not been ordered but have been supplied. So in, in certain cases, the supplier may add some substitute of. There are some uh, other brands of, of the same gen can be added. So it has to be reported that they have received, there was suppose they were ordered for 1,000 units, they have received 900 of the same brand and maybe 100 of the additional or substitute branded. So these all thing has to be reported. This hall has to be reckoned. If there's any damage, broken or poor quality medicine has been received, it must be recorded and informed to the concerned authorities over there. Any other for that you can report over there, you can find. So these are to be has to be recorded and it has to be reported to the higher the chief pharmacist, whatever it is in your case over there. Sorry. Why there is a need of proper storage? Why it is appropriate of medicine essential to ensure that the potencies must be maintained to prevent deterioration, spoilage, and degradation. So it must be stored as the proper requirement of the drugs, as per the proper temp temperature required. Why, if it is not stored properly, what happens is that the potency may be altered, and then the drugs may be deteriorated, spoilage, and degradation cannot be fit for the human consumption over there. So it must be to ensure, maintain the physical integrity of the drugs.
pattern of storage. Now, how the pattern of storage can be different in different pharmacies, varied to varied pharmacy, how they are stored, the medicine could be stored some in, in certain cases company wide. The manufacturers they can give a one corner or shelf to one manufacturer, his drugs has to be placed in one rack or whatever. You can say the drugs are marks are placed over there. Medicine manufactured by one company should be grouped together uh, uh, by this by this procedure can be stored over there or they can be stored by alphabetical order. They can be stored in alphabet. So the drugs from A, B, C, D, the name, they may be stored in alphabet order from left to right based on their names. So first is that they be stored company-wise. Second pattern can be, they can be stored alphabetically. What is the next? The medicine may be stocked, segregated, and according to dose form. So another pattern can be, they may be stored according to the farms, so liquid, bottle, solid, whatever the dose farm, they can be stored according to that. They may be ophthalmic drops, ointments, so they may be, so you have, you have three patterns. One, they can be stored from the company names. They can be stored alphabetically. The third, they can be stored on a uh, dose farm patterns in separate shelves over there. So another one thing that storage according to the temperature is a must. The drugs, which whatever temperature they need, they have to be stored according to that. So which pattern of storage followed? Also within a particular storage area. Segregated so storage may be maintained in a refrigerator. For example, medicines may be stored in trays, racks, and the freezers according to the temperature. You can see on the left side, these are special type of refrigerators for the storage of medicine. Here, yeah, these drugs are called refrigerated. Then, as you can see, insulin over there, they are stored according to their temperature requirement over there. It must be in an orderly manner, neat and clean man, orderly manner. <clears throat> these stocks, stores must be stored in an orderly manner, not haphazard manner. The medicine are kept back in the same place from where they were removed. All the medicines are arranged neatly once in a while. The person should be careful. You can see on, on the right side how the good storage management and there is a bad man. So he, these drugs, medicine are stored in ordinary, neat and clean and a smooth pattern. You can see that good storage management, you can see bad storage management over there. With these temperature and security zone, medicine must be stored so that that's easily accessible and protected against damage. So they must be shelves, racks, drafts, whatever the requirement is, they are placed according to the requirement of these medicine within their required temperature over there. Refrigeration, all cold chain equipment should meet required standards. So these refrigerators are up to that requirement, whatever the temperature is required, you have to adjust according to that. Again, you can see these refrigerators, special refrigerators. Mostly they are non-frost. Out for frost, frost-free, I mean non-frost, because there's no uh, uh, accumulation of ice in that refrigerator. If there's ice, it gives, uh, uh, the drugs cannot be stored properly if there's ice over there. So it must be non-frost refrigerators. They're easy to maintain and protect, printed, packaging material over there. So all these st stores, uh, the drugs cannot be placed over the floors. That storage of cartons on the floor should be avoided because besides being an unhealthy practice, the contents may also be damaged by moisture. So they do not be placed over the floors. Why? They may get the uh, moistures from the floor and the drugs are damage over there. So when they're placed in the refrigerator, must monitoring has to be done. Routine monitoring and maintenance of the refrigerators and to organize an effective repair system. The temperature in the refrigerator must be monitored and recorded routinely at least once a day. As you have seen in previously, there are the badge cards for these stocks, for the stocks, record of stocks. Similarly, there is a 
temperature maintained. Chart is also attached to that refrigerator that the temperature was checked in the morning and temperature was checked at going time. Similarly, there is also a temperature maintaining chart of that farms is also maintained because they note the temperature in the morning. Suppose if it's 30 degrees Celsius, if their AC is maybe less than 30 or 25, and when they let, when most of the farms remain around the clock. So, this temperature chart must be maintained. Any breakdown of the uh, of, uh, must be recorded, including the period during which the medicine was exposed to uncontrolled temperature. If there was a electricity breakdown, so it has to be recorded how long this was happened, that there was no electricity during this period. So extra requirement, extra means may be used to store the medicine in a cold temperature. Medicine may then be kept or discarded if they have exposed to that heat. So they may not, they may be taken out from that. They may be discarded. Cold chain monitor cards and devices in or on packages that change color or otherwise alert stuff to potential damage assist in monitoring. So cold chain monitor cards, as I told you, must be maintained if there is alter temperature. These stocks must be discarded, must be thrown out or returned to. Humidity is very for humidity or moisture control. Moisture or humidity can adversely affect the stability of medicines such as tablets, capsules, or if they remain moist or humidity, there can be effects of stability. Gelatin capsules become soft and swell on absorption of moisture. The drug control of tablets may undergo surface hydrolysis if there is a humidity or Moisture, so, it, so dehumidifier must be stored or placed in that pharmacy over there to control the humidity in a pharmacy over there. The presence of moisture may encourage the growth of microbes. If there's a moisture there, the growth of micro, microbes can be happen. So therefore, essential to control the humidity. So dehumidifier, dehumidifiers are there. The instrument may be placed, may be kept, and may be put in that pharmacy so extra moisture can be absorbed with the help of dehumidifier over there. So temperature, climatic conditions, temperature control, the medicine in a pharmacy needs to be stored at appropriate temperature to maintain their stability and air conditions environment where temperature can be controlled is recommended for pharmacies, air condition offers the option of setting the temperature as per requirements. It is ideal to have an air conditioner to maintain the temperature below 25 Celsius as most medicines require storage below this temperature. Secondly, this temperature is pleasing to both the staff and the visiting customer too. So mostly the, the pharmacy must be air conditioned, must be temperature controlled. So if there is a healthy temperature or controlled temperature, so it is also good for the staff and visiting, uh, visiting custom, uh, customers if the temperature is controlled over there. In the absence of the air conditioner, circulating fans may be used. Some air circulation or, or may be used if there is no air condition over there. So <clears throat> last is that you can be a thermometer. If you feel hot, your medicine probably be to feel the same. So if so, in hot uh, atmosphere, the medicines are deteriorated. Therefore, it must they must be they must be stored they must be stored in a controlled temperature. 